American Civil War. Hello, my name is Toby Choi, and I prepared a research presentation for my MSA final project. General Robert Lee of the Confederate Army once said, this war is not about slavery. Many of us believe that this Civil War started because of the slavery, but it isn't only reason why the war started, why they fought. Many of the southern states were harvesting cotton as their main source of commerce, but the northern states were focusing on industries. It is very hard to separate the cotton fibers from the seeds. People who lived in South needed someone else to do the labor. They brought enslaved Africans to do all those works. As time passed, the economic difference was increasing the social gap between northern states and southern states. Especially after the American Revolution, the southern states opposed against the idea of the central government controlling the states. Even after the, the Union was formed to create a federal government, many of the southern states were hesitant to join Union. After Abraham Lincoln was elected as the 16th President of the United States, people from South accused that he was anti-slavery. Soon after, seven of the southern states left the Union. Abraham Lincoln disagreed with having slaves. After leaving Union, people in the South elected their own president and called themselves the Confederate States of America and attacked the Union when the opposition of slavery movement was in process. On April 11, 1861, Confederate soldiers attacked Fort Sumter, and it's located in Charleston County, South Carolina. It was one of the main battles because the, it was the first battle of the Civil War, the Confederates won the, this battle. During September 12 through 15, 1862, the Confederate Army attacked Maryland, but the whole battle was fought in Maryland and Virginia. The Confederates won. This bat battle was called Harper's Ferry. In Spotsylvania, Virginia, there was a battle of Transloreville on April 30 through May 6, 1863. Although the Confederate Army was half the size of the Union Army, led by General Robert Lee, Confederate Army won the battle. In July 22, 1864, there was a battle of Atlanta in Georgia and Union won. On May 12 through 13, 1865, there, were, there was a battle called Potimo Ranch in the Cameron County, Texas. It was the last battle of the Civil War and Confederate won, but the Confederate States of America gave, their, gave up their country and Union took over the Confederate States of America. The biggest battle, Gettysburg, the place of pain, fear, and blood. The Battle of Gettysburg was the, one of the biggest and bloodiest battle, battles during the Civil War. In the midst of the battle, there stood General Robert E. Lee, a famous Confederate general who won many battles with much smaller size army compared to the Union armies. 
He believed that he can attack a Union base in Gettysburg on July 1st, 1863. He led his army of 75,000 soldiers against 83,000 soldiers for the Union. Although the Confederate Army had its advantage in the beginning of the battle, it started to lose battleground as more and more of the Union Army came to their aid. The turning point of the battle occurred with when the General Lee ordered his right hand man, Jonathan Stonewall Jackson, to lead the battle. However, he was killed in the battle. After losing someone very important, he lost his confidence and its army lost hope in winning the battle. On July 3rd, 1863, the majority of the Confederate army was destroyed by the, the Union Army and decided to retreat. After the battle, General Lee tried to resign, but the President of the Confederate States rejected. What if the Confederates had won? There are some theorists who believe that if the Confederate Army defeated the Union Army, in the Battle of the Gettys Battle of Gettysburg, the Confederate States could have existed even until this day, sharing its border with then Union States. But modern day, the, the United States of America. From this project, I learned that there were more reasons behind the Civil War other than to abolish slavery. It happened because there were growing gaps which were causing tension between the northern states and southern states. No, yeah, to grow. Just like the tension between North and South Korea. One day, I hope to witness our Korea countries unite and become a unified, free, and stronger country. Thank you very much.